It's going to cover this this eave here with the blocking. And it's going to look like this after it's up. Of course, we have to put a one by four trim up against the building, as you can see on the on the right side. You ready? Okay, I'm almost ready to help you. Here we are putting the tacking the soffit board on the one by ten. Oh, I see. As long as the green light's on, it's on. Is it on? How's it working? This is our house after the uh, foundation work's been completed and the landscaping redone. New sills put under the shed. We'll go down and take a closer look. Here's Sam out in the field. Sam! <whistles> Come on, Sam! Come on, boy! This shows the end of the house with um, all the boulders we took out from the basement that was part of the foundation and the way we landscaped it into the uh, side of the hills. You can see the uh, where the double basement doors are going to go leading into the basement. It has some uh, aspenite nailed over it now. You can see the steps we put in uh, from the granite blocks that were around the top of the foundation. You can see the new well. It's 200 feet deep. The concrete foundation. This is the end of the house again with the stonework we put around. And you can see the granite steps. You can see the two of the four drainage pipes that we put in. One of these is um, going to a drainage ditch around the entire front of the house, and the other one comes out uh, from around the footing on the large part of the basement. The total length of pipe we put in was 340 feet. about 20 truckloads of sand.
you can see the water that's been constantly coming out of the uh, end of the one pipe that runs around the front drainage ditch. It also is coming out the other end about the same uh, about the same amount. It's been non-stop since we put the pipe in. This pipe here doesn't have any water in. Probably it will uh, when there's a heavy rain. They lead up, like I say, they lead up to the uh, house. The one pipe goes around the foundation, the other one goes in front of the house. You can see how much extra dirt we got to fill in the backyard. We built this wall, uh, this retaining wall around the uh, septic tank so we can get access to the septic tank if we need to. And that whole area above that retaining wall is built up on a uh, nice easy slope so we can cut it and then build a back porch eventually out back of the house. Here again is the retaining wall around the, the septic tank, which is pretty much di uh, directly underneath this beam here that's laying on the ground we use for a bench for the time being. Also the office, the future office has a new foundation under it and that's the room right here. The drainage pipe for that runs down across here comes out right down here. That doesn't have any water coming out of it yet, but it probably will in a heavy rain or in the spring. This is the other end of that uh, pipe that makes the loop around the front of the house and is for the drainage ditch. This has had water in ever since we put the pipe in. This pipe runs up. goes up here, runs up by the doghouse, left side of the stone wall and around the front of the house and connects with the pipe on the other side. This gives you a different view of some of the landscaping we've done, where we put some of the dirt from the basement. Again, the concrete foundation goes from here to under the blue tarp, stops, starts up again around here, and runs all the way around the house. As you can see, the house needs a lot of cosmetic work at this point. We sawed the floor completely out of the shed and dropped it and that'll be removed in the future as soon as I get this junk out of here. And the sill has been replaced uh, around the perimeter of the entire shed on three sides so that we can uh, jack the shed up. We jacked it up about two feet and put it on rollers and pulled it forward about 16 inches so that it's more in line with the uh, with the house. It was about 16 inches back too far, so we lined the whole thing up. Here you can see part of the sills. We have it on blocks at this point. In the future, I'd like to put it on uh, sauna tubes or on rocks and put a new floor in here. This is Kitty taking a nap on the rug. Hi, Kitty. How well, little kitty. This is a new floor that we put in. 
This is underneath the, uh, this is the office floor that we put in that was completely torn out so we could put the basement in under here. Two by tens on 16 inch centers for structure under here. It's pretty solid. Smile, kitty. This is friendly. He's taking a nap. 